Today I am going to be installing the Rimitrex Luminar wheels for the Model Y. So these are a new type of wheel that uh, is sold by this country, Rimitrex, um, which started as a Kickstarter project, but you can now just buy them uh, yourself. And so a set of four of them costs about uh, $250 or so. Uh, I'll have a, all the links and everything down below in more details. Um, but they are, first of all, look much better than the standard uh, aero wheels that you get on the Model Y. And second of all, uh, supposedly improve the range by being even more aer aerodynamic than the um, uh, aerial wheels that you get on the, the Model Y. I'm excited to try these out because I don't think these standard ones on the Model Y look that bad, but um, you know, just something to differentiate it a little bit. And especially, you know, the way the car looks now with the roof rack and the blacked out uh, door handles and mirror and other accents, I think uh, black wheels are gonna look even better on here than these silver ones do. Uh, so they're also supposed to be really easy to install. You basically just pop off these covers and these ones go straight on. Um, so I'm excited to see how easy it actually is. So come join me and we'll give it a shot. All right, so here you can see the box of the wheels came in. This is actually fairly compact uh, for a wheel set, uh, but they're not full wheels. They're really just caps that go on. And then I've also got from Amazon these uh, Tesla wheel cap covers to make it look a little bit more special. Ten minutes to, to look just like that. Arlo. All right, let's get it open. All right. So we got our instructions. So it comes with little foam uh, things to protect your wheels from the, the rims, which is nice. And the cool thing about these is, in addition to the range that it gives you, they actually extend a little bit further than the uh, stock ones, so they're supposed to protect against um, rim rash uh, a bit. I haven't had a problem yet with the Y. I like, even scraped it on the uh, curb yesterday, but um, didn't really show any marks like the three used to. Uh, like, just gets super scuffed up all the time. So, but you know, this will make it a little bit less stressful and um, hopefully protect the wheel much longer. Interesting. So we got foam pads. They're like little, just little tiny strips. Cover the caps. And here is what the wheel cover looks like. Ooh, that is fancy. All right, so. That looks like about it. Good packaging. This seems like it's actually going to be fairly straightforward, let's say. Alright, so we're going to attach all of these strips first to the wheels. All right, so the next step is to remove these wheel covers. So a lot of people may not know that on the Teslas, so on the 3 and the Y, with the aero wheel covers, 
this part is actually just a plastic uh, cap that goes on it and it is on there um, mostly to give aerodynamics um, so on electric cars actually I guess on all cars um, a lot of the aerodynamic inefficiency comes from the wheels and so having these um, sort of like turbine -y, uh style wheel covers helps um, uh, divert uh, air back out past it um, so that you're not getting turbulence and not losing efficiency to the air that's going past the tires. So um, these are designed to help with that. Um, but if you don't like the looks of them, you can actually just pop them off. So I've never done this before. Let's see how easy it actually is to get them off. actually surprisingly easy. And so you can see it's really just got these clips that go on uh, that hold it on to the metal there. So if you like the looks of that more, you can actually just do that, uh, although you will lose a little bit of uh, range efficiency. So I'm actually just going to clean these wheels off a little bit because they're pretty dirty and I don't want it to scratch up the rims at all. Use my Griot's Speed Shine. Is that cool? Go put these new ones on. Alright, so it says all you've got to do is line this one notch with the valve stem and then just push it on. Let's see. Think it's going to be easy? Mm -hmm. The valve stem. It's super easy. And this is just a sticker that's going to go on. There we go. What do you think? Is that like good? Mm -hmm. It's really good, right? Mm -hmm. Mommy, you want to come give a reaction? Really nice. Yeah. Well, you didn't scratch up at all yesterday. No. I didn't realize it was two toned. I didn't realize the old ones were two toned. Yeah. Did you? So, a little comparison shot. That one. Anders, could you go help Follow, please? And Anders, that one. Just for comparison, here is the caps that it comes with, which I realized actually look like they're probably somewhat structural. So I'm gonna put these on and then put the Tesla things over it.
this that feels way more secure. All right, halfway there. Living on a prayer. Alright, so I think those look really, really good. I am quite happy with those. I think they make it stand out way more. Should get even better aerodynamics now, which I'll test out. Hopefully they hold up well. I'm a little bit worried about the matte black scratching out, but um, we'll see. Seems like they're made pretty well. And yeah, I think they look really sharp. They don't look like they're, you know, a total aftermarket thing. I think they look pretty, like, OEM. And uh, they go really well with just the, like, overall look of the car. Um, especially in, uh, you know, the, the base blue metallic with the matte black roof racks. And then, you know, these newer Model Ys that have the uh, blacked out accents all over it. I think it just uh, makes the car uh, kind of flow together much better. So I'm really happy with those. We definitely recommend them. Installation was super easy and I don't feel like I damaged anything and it's just nice to have them on there now as, you know, sort of protection and insurance uh, in case I do rim the wheels or, um, uh, you know, get any debris that chips up onto them or anything. You can always switch back to the uh, original ones now. So it's super easy to get those ones off and it would be very easy to put those back on too. So very happy with that. Would definitely recommend these. All right, yeah. So I think those came out perfect. Definitely like these a lot. Look forward to using them and testing out what the efficiency actually looks like with them. Um, but as long as that doesn't fall off a cliff, I think these look nice enough that it's worth the sacrifice. And um, uh, just really happy to have these on there now and not have to worry about the uh, original wheels as much, uh, especially if I end up um, selling this one at some point in the future. So yeah, very happy with the Rimitrex wheels. Um, I'll link to all of that down below so that you can get a set for yourself as well. And I hope that helped uh, save some time and know if it was a worthy option or not. Uh, if you liked it, please do give a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions about you know, how they went on or uh, how they're holding up, definitely let me know in the comments below. And otherwise, do subscribe. I've got a few more accessories coming in to um, help keep, keep uh, this car uh, going even more um, unique beyond uh, just sort of the factory look. Um, so uh, definitely subscribe for that. And we've got a bunch of road trips coming up soon too where we can test all of these things out um, you know, in much more detail. So you don't want to miss any of that. Uh, thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye. What do you guys think of the wheels on the car? The, oh, those new wheels. Mm -hmm. They look good.